All right, guys, I have, I went ahead and pulled three names from Tuesday's videos. Um, so please, if you hear your name, uh, DM us your info and address so we can send you some merch. On Instagram. On Instagram. Good call. Um, so it looks like, let's pick the first one, Tom Turner. Send us your info. We got, what are the odds of this? Just Chad, C-H-A-D on YouTube. Send us your info on Instagram. And last but not least, uh, Fresh Fowler. Send us your info on Instagram and we will send you some merch. And on this video being posted live again, guys, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and you will be entered for a chance to win some merch. Tag. Let me see it. Come on. Don't don't be bashful because there's a camera rolling. Show me. I think we need to make something like this. Alright. Now show, show me why is it cool. Come on. Just reach in. Uh-huh. Quick pull. <laughs> Quick draw. Getting bright into it in your pocket? <laughs> Can I reach in? You want to get it bright? Yeah, right. Show, show him how good it is. Do it with your eyes closed. Do it with your eyes closed. I might, I might grab something. I'm not, I don't want to. Alright, we'll come up with LMR tags. This yeah. is the coolest. What do you? So what do we call that? A keychain tag? What do you? What is that called? What are you gonna put? Are you gonna put remove before flight? I don't know. A key I'll ring, come up with key ring cool. tag. But you're gonna make one like these are badass. We're gonna. Yeah, yeah. We're so not gonna ship plastic one. No. Like hey, hey, we don't make no cheap hey, shit around here. This shit Listen, just, we don't make no cheap shit around here. The, yeah. I, this guy give it. If I spent fifty thousand dollars, you gave me that, I'd be like, this motherfucker. <laughs> So what we got here, Anthony? What's up, everybody? How you doing? It's Anthony over here at Late Model Racecraft, working on Mike Pups 850 package C7, and we're about to unwrap one of the special goodies in the 850 package. It's from Kong. It's their proven, tried and true, developed race port design. So let's see what kind of blur we got on the inside. It's Christmas time. Woo! Oh yeah. Now this is the baddest that you can get on a factory blower and push it. Like I said, it has their race port development that they have a ton of R&D in, along with a grip tight, uh, grip tech pulley that's smaller than what's usually run because of how hard we spin the blower. Now there's one other upgrade that he did not option for, which is a DSX billet lid. But there's something special about that DSX tuning lid that's proprietary to LMR, and that's why LMR's name is on it. So I get to get it out the box, do some transfers, and then we'll be getting it on the car. And it is meant for a 103 throttle body. It is not meant for a stock throttle body anymore. So after, after the upgrade, it's 103. Yes, after the upgrade, it is 103. important polish including the snout it's not just on the inside of the blower and the runners it's throughout the entire blower like it's supposed to be and as you can see it's nice and smooth awesome transition but the owner did want to keep his red billet lid that he had painted stay tuned and get ready for some power on the dyno we'll catch you down the road Never misses. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's gonna love that one. 
That 850 is a beast. Yeah. Wait till you catch our 850 versus 800 video. Woo! We're starting up. Mike Star. Mike Pup. Got the mad scientist in here. We're working his magic. He's about to fire it up. You ready? And it's about to go live, baby. No, I mean, is it good? I just loaded it. Fire in the hole? Fire in the hole. I knew it. Give me a battery, mother Ready? Fire in the hole. Any of you guys are interested in some LMR merch, uh, like this video, comment below, and we'll pick a winner in two days. Yes, sir. Thank you. Go for a test drive. Yeah, exactly. 
because they only, they only make it in a manual. Um, and I really wanted a convertible again. Uh, then I gave the C7 a try and I looked for about a year until I found this one. You did right. You yeah. got the suede, yeah. steering wheel. Yes. It's the nice. Carbon the carbon drive. seats. Yeah, yeah. I fiber. wanted specifically like this. It's nice. And um, yeah, I had a ship from California when nice. I bought it. It's nice. And then you said, all right, I need more power? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got used to it. It needs more power. So um, I had been looking for about probably at least six months trying to find a place to go to. You know, there's a lot of locals in, in the Tennessee too. Um, but um, after looking more and uh, seeing the, the customer base from LMR and the return customers and hearing them talk in the videos and the demos and the watching everybody work, that's why I decided. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Which is, I know it was the right choice. So. 2015 C706. First, you called this for 800 horsepower package. Mm. So Actually, then, first right? it was 750 horsepower. Oh, okay. Then I said to Justin, I said, hey, uh, let's go to 800. And we talked about uh, some of the other things to include in the 800. And then you actually shipped the car yeah. to get an 800, yeah. correct? Yes. And then I uh, and then I said to him, I called him in the last minute, and says, you know, let's just for that blower. Make okay. it 850. Make it 850. <laughs> yeah. So, car. These stock usually around 530, 550 rear wheel horsepower. Mm -hmm. It is automatic transmission. Mm -hmm. We, I stopped dining it. It made 742 rear wheel horsepower at around 15, 16 pounds of boost. And I called Mr. Pup and asked him if that was a good enough number. He said good enough. I think I could have made 750, but again, weekend toy. He's not racing it on a drag strip every weekend. No need to push it for the extra 10, 20, 30 horsepower in risk. You know, hurting the engine or transmission or something in the future. So yep. just kept it at 740 uh, with heat in it. It's going to be around 730 to 740 almost every pull we make. And uh, yeah, we're about to go feel it. I'm oh, a, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, I'm looking I'm, forward to it. I'm going to pull over and turn on the GoPro on the outside. Yeah. Yep. Sound good? Yep. All right. All right. It's not too crazy where it's shaking you side to side, but. Just, uh, enough, it's just enough rock that you yeah. know that oh, you got yeah, something done, you know? It has the cup twos on it, right? Mm -hmm. All the way around? Yes, sir. All the way around. In fact, I just got them. Cool. Maybe a couple hundred miles on it. So I might do a third gear pull first. Okay. Just to make sure third, fourth shift is good. And then depending on how it hooks up, we might try second. Okay. Again, uh, cup twos, third gear, traction control on. Nothing crazy. I'm not going to stab. I'm just going to roll into it. You ready? Yes. Throttle, adjust. all that stuff. 
to allow it to not spin. So, yeah. I mean, you felt it, but if oh, we had yeah. like a real tire on and tried to drill off, it would hit even Man. harder. It's yeah. awesome. I'm happy. Good. You good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the best part is you can drive this all the way back to Tennessee if you want it. Yeah, that's the beauty. Right? Yep. That's what I like about it. It's the drivability is just amazing. Unbelievable. Go get groceries in it, go to Taco Shack and get tacos and jump right in and go back home in it. Those of you that follow this channel, I sound like a broken record. I greatly appreciate it. Those of y'all new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Leave comments below, thumbs up, thumbs down. And uh, yeah, what y'all think about that test drive? You think the customer was uh, excited? Was it dull or did should I have gone crazier for the next one? Comment below, until next time guys.